What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, today we're going to start with just a little bit of an account rundown and maybe a few packs, not the packs that I've saved up, but maybe some of the packs I saved up, I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, just, just want to show you where we're at. Uh, in terms of champs, I'm currently 7-1. and one. I'm going to show you guys the gameplay of that in a, in a brief moment. I've also got draft gameplay for you here today. Uh, the one loss I took... Bit of a tough one to take, uh, but uh, you know I dominated the game, and and once again I just was unable to take my chances. Essentially, you know I was unable to, to turn all my heavy possession and all all my heavy opportunities into really good goal scoring opportunities. So it's definitely something I want to really work on. Still, you know I've, I've been playing a lot of FIFA recently as well, a lot more than I had been in previous weeks, mostly because of draft. Um, I only hit a thousand wins last week, and now we're almost at eleven hundred wins already. So, uh, yeah, the loss was a bit of a hard one to take. But as, you know, I told myself, just stayed, just played my best. And I was like, look, we're going to 14 wins anyway. It doesn't matter. Even if I finish 14 and 6, it just literally just doesn't matter, right? So just use it as a learning experience. And so for the next few games after that, I tried new ways of scoring goals. And I figured a few other things out. And hopefully next time I come up against somebody who I batter, I'm not hit on the counter a few times and losing the game. Um, in terms of SBCs out today, there's... A uh, good one. I've nearly finished the Liga Nos. Just uh, a few few teams left. I, I don't even. I'm in no rush to finish that anyway. Like league SBCs, as expected, have gone up again. Um, and the reason why they've gone up again and is because the when there's a promo team in packs, people sit, tend to lean towards the league SBCs for a source of packs, right? Because they don't want to buy packs from the store, or the packs from the store just aren't necessarily good enough for what they want. And so. During promo weeks, league SBCs typically just boom in terms of price. And we're going to take a look at the league of NOS right now. It's currently 180k. And three days ago, before this league SBC was in packs, it was 137k. Um, and then even March the 7th, the day of this promo that came in, it was 150k. So I'm not really intent on finishing that right now, um, just because it's gone up in price uh, a fair whack. And what's crazy is that the... Um, the silvers market and the league SBCs market is probably going to stay high for a while because I feel like, and I don't know this for certain, this is just my uh, my theories and my thoughts. I feel like we're going to move from fuck birth, sorry, from fuck carnival uh, promo straight into fuck birthday. That's how I feel. I, I think that's going to be what happens. So whether or not that happens or not, the likelihood is is that it there won't even if there's a week in between, the likelihood is there won't be enough downtime for the league SBC to come back down in value uh, in the meantime so obviously this danish player of the year sbc i told you guys why i wasn't doing that i still think uh i'm well i know i'm not even gonna waste my coins on that kurzawa for me is just a waste of coins a french 87 rated left back with good stats but not amazing stats for quite expensive because i was coming in right now at one hundred and ninety-five thousand coins and then EA have also released um, Hulk, obviously. And I don't think I'm going to do Hulk. You know, he's down at 230, but the packs aren't good enough. The card is, is good. It's just not good enough, you know. Um, it, it's just not good enough. That That's all there is to it, really. It's not good enough. And then Benjamin Mendy has been released as well. Mendy's coming in a lot cheaper than the other cards. He's like 165, according to Fuck Bin. And, you know, if you snipe the cards well, or if you have a few untradeables, you could probably do him for like 150, 140. Uh, even then, I don't feel like personally that's the the best in terms of value for coins. Um, just off the back of the fact that it's not a spectacular card. I already have plenty of left backs and left backs as good. You know, the, the Alonso Europa League live item, which is probably going to get upgraded again here next week, is 87 rated and very good. You know, so I don't personally think that Mendy is worth it in any regard. And because of the way my team set up, um, A, it would, I would lose chemistry if I put Mendy in. And B, uh, Eder Militao, even on seven chemistry, is a better player. Um, and so there's no reason for me to go for that Mendy. However, oh, he's a left wing back, that's why. Uh, yeah, 87 Alonso. Obviously doesn't have the pace of Mendy, but everything else is head and shoulders above. And his agility and balance is only a little bit less than Mendy. So... For me, this card wins out every day. There's no point in me spending the coins on that Mendy. Um, however, I do like the the one SBC that's there. And we will open the pack for this one as well. What is it? The World Champion. So it's a Prime Gold Players pack. As I said, you know, like I could save this Prime Gold Players pack for Team of the Season. But I am playing a lot of draft. 
Uh, so it's, it's not it's not a huge deal for me to open uh, the odd pack here or there. Uh, we could pop Ariola in. What do we need? Three rares for this one. Uh, we'll pop Tete in there. Showing my Tetes. Um, what rating do we need here? It needs to be 80 rated. So we'll throw this guy in. Um, do you know what? I could even put Glick in there. Th this is at the moment an 800 coin card. Uh, let's have a look. look. Look at that. 900 coins. I could bid on it. No one's bid on it. It is it is genuinely and literally an 800 coin card. So we could throw him in there. We do need three leagues. Um, there's our second French player, although that's actually our third French third third French player. Um, it's the same with Gustavo. Like the rating is just so high, it, but the the cards are so cheap. Let's go to the Italian league. See what we've got floating around in here. Um, 80 rated, 78 rated. I, I'm going to need like another high rated player. Oh, let's use Politano there. He's untradeable, so he works well for us. Uh, we'll throw in him. We'll throw in... Let's pop in Borja Valero as well. That covers our rares by, by too many, really. Um, and then we just need a striker. And is a bronze going to be enough? No. Is a silver going to be enough? Yes. So let me go to my untradeable silvers because I've got quite a few. And we'll go and take... Uh, I'm not going to use him. He's going to be... For an untradeable, he's going to be one of the Brazilians. That hopefully helps me to getting um, some very, very easy... There we go. Some very, very easy uh, rage quits. And that is it done. So two French, three leagues, three rares. 80 overall rated, 80 chemistry. Uh, the issue is I don't know where this pack's going to be in terms of the store, guys. So let's go and have a look at the store. And let's go and see what we've got floating around here so we've got premium goals oh there you go prime gold players pack so let's get this open and let's hope that we can hit something nice out of this you know don't expect miracles we don't get a walk out just a board would be nice we do get a board hey that hey that's nice <laughs> that's all there is to it it's french it's a lacazette let's go it's an 85 that's fantastic that is fantastic 85 uh alex lacazette maybe another cheeky 85 in here as well why not let's go for two no, but that is that is decent by by way of players. Lacazette is, I mean, like he's probably like eight k, right? The just the market is so low right now. Uh, he's not going to be super expensive. Uh, we get a few. Um, I was going to say I thought if he's five k, that's crazy. Some some commons are worth a whole bunch right now. I don't know why, but they they just are. Uh, and this is one of those situations where I sit here and I think, should I should I be selling this guy? Like you know, I could probably get like fifteen hundred coins for him. Whereas usually he's uh, like a 400 coin player just because he's French. Let's list him up and see if he sells. If he does, we'll, we'll have something to think about. Let's put those two guys on the trade pile. Man, I mean, if 83s aren't selling for eight, 900 coins, 82s aren't going for eight, 900 coins either. You know what I mean? Like the, the, now is a good time, guys. If you're, if you're, you don't even have to be flush with coins, right? If you just have some coins, even if you've got 40K or 50K, now is a great time to... Boys, why? Now is a great time to go and buy or as many 82s, 83s, 84s as you can. 82s you can get for discard price. Uh, 83s you can pretty much get for discard price as well. I'd be very surprised if uh, we didn't win that Glick. And that was for 900... Oh, okay, there you go. 950 coins he went for. 950. That's mental. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do that myself, actually. I'm going to be... Oh, finally sold that kit. It's little Pat Method OP. I'm going to go myself and... Um, start built buying into more 84s 83s 82s and stuff and you actually see by my club i have already a lot um not necessarily of 86s and stuff but they'll come as they come but as eight for 85s what do we have with four five six seven eight nine eighty fives we've got what's that 15 25 we have 27 84s and then we have pages and 83s now i'm not saying go and stack them onto your trade par or anything like that but just go like Go, do some due diligence spend some time looking at what 82s you don't currently have and just go and get open bids on the other ones and then boom you're going to be able to stack your club up with 82s 83s 84s and 85s a whole bunch and it will be great well sold there so road let's see what i mean that guy sold for 1400 this the, for me the common gold market right now is in such a weird spot that players that shouldn't be selling for a lot are selling for a lot like i i guarantee you this Kingsley Coman or this Lamar will be as cheap as that 1400 coins there what are we saying no way is he actually like 3k here there's no way Lamar's mad expensive wait hold on hold on hold on 
if French players have boomed that much in price, that would be mental. Lamar's up at like 1,800 coins. That, that, I mean, that, hey, even if he is 1,800 coins, that's only a few hundred coins more than that silver common, or sorry, that rare common that I sold for 1,400 coins that was way lower rated. And it does look like the French players are going to be a little bit more expensive than everything else. And this might be a good time for me, for you guys to, to start getting rid of these cards. Diara, oh my God. This is definitely a good time to start getting rid of these cards. Especially the high, the, the correct position and the high rated. Even a goalkeeper. Even if this guy, look at that. There's nothing under 10,000 for like 10 minutes. 5,000 there. If, if this guy even sells for close to 1,800, I would be blown away. Now, where's that left mid that I had? Hamuma. He's probably, 77 rated is probably going to be worth a fair bit. I'm blown away, guys, honestly. And this, this is this is what we're going to do. I'm like, I'm not going to do it all on camera because I, I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch that. But I'm going to spend some time going through every, everything. I'm going to, going to spend time gutting out this club from top to bottom, from start to finish, and just getting as many coins as possible. But what am I getting the coins for? This is a pack-only road to glory. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I literally don't know what I'm doing, guys. I, I'm at a loss. What do I need? What do I even need the coins for? I don't, like an SBC, if and when it comes, I don't know. Uh, in terms of the, look at that Hamuma sold for two k immediately. Crazy. In terms of the packs, uh, we got eighty nine really good packs. Um, I I got two more rare goal packs from draft because this game hates me, um, which I am saving for team of the season. We can open one now as well. I don't mind. Like the rare goal packs typically are terrible packs, but let's see if we get anything there. There you go. That's why. That's why. Uh, <sighs> that's why the rare goals are just so bad for for winning the draft. Um, Demir Bay in there. See this is, because Germans aren't needed for the SPC. Demir Bay seven hundred coins for an eighty two rated. Any Frenchman right now is going to be selling for a whole bunch. We actually got a couple of really good consumables out of that, which is quite nice. Um, and every day, every nation is going to have a player that's going to boom in value. So if you could not even predict, but if you could assume tomorrow's SBC will be, let's say, um, the German one, maybe go and buy a whole bunch of German right backs and German left backs for discard price because there is worst case scenario, you just have them in your club for the next time. Um, but there you go, guys. So that is where the club's at. We're now going to get into some champs and draft gameplay. I will be right back. Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, there's actually just champs games here today. No draft, otherwise the video would have been once again far, far too long. Um, but before we get into the comments from the comment section, I just want to thank you guys for being here, for supporting the series. You know, I put a lot, lot of effort into this series, and I talk about this a bit, but I constantly, in, in terms of a business decision, I'm constantly sitting there saying to myself, you just put, for, for the return, you put way too much effort in, you know, compared to how much effort my main channel is, uh, it, like, you know, just in terms of business sense it's too it's just bad it's bad for business you know i could be far more efficient um but i just love this series so much and i love the connection and the interaction with you guys so much that i don't care like i'm gonna continue it on regardless and we are in a tricky spot right now uh, which we'll get to actually in a second through the comments so the first comment is from riley tharp says 56 on stamina on ben arthur nep is gonna have a fit Listen, man, I'm not expecting every card to be the best ever. I'm not expecting every SBC card to be full 99s or to be an insane card for 10k. But at least make the cards usable. And there will be some people that will have low-end teams that are either new to FIFA or casual players or just don't really play very much generally anyway. That This Ben Arthur would be a great addition to their squad for until you see the fact that he has 56 stamina and it's like what, what harm would it have done keeping all the rest of his stats the same which by the way i think the rest of his stats are just a disservice to his card anyway but even if they kept all the other stats at the same and just put his stamina up to 80 who's that hurting like there's already so many better cards out there than that ben arthur card that who is that hurting by giving him more stamina to allow him to be usable for the entire game and it's the same with all the flashbacks even ibra Rooney, Torres, they all have like mid 70s or lower for stamina and it's just like what's the point? Like I just don't get it. I genuinely just don't get it. I wish I wish we could have an answer because I would love to know EA's thinking behind the hows, where's, why's and and, and what for's. Um the next comment is from 
Tom Powell says, Hi Nep, just to let you know, you could do the Ben Arthur and Taliska SBC at the same time. Just put French Silvers on the bench and bring them on on kickoff or later in the game. Hope this helps. Uh, I did already know that, but for people watching the video that didn't know that, that might help you guys. Alternatively, you can also do the Chan and the Ben Arthur SBC at the same time in the same fashion. You just start with your 11 German Silvers. Uh, you sub on immediately three French players up front. You started, you know, after kickoff, of course, you started with 11 German Silvers. So you've played with 11 German Silvers. You've got your French players in and then you just have to score with the Frenchman to win. So it'd be beneficial if you obviously had uh, French strikers or attackers in general, um, which would be helpful. But I, I quite like the, um, the, the promo here today. Where's the first comment that I wanted? Um, not that one, not that one this one kind of ben says hey nep wondering do you think the through weekly challenges it is more accessible for casuals to grind now love the content and the answer is yes and what's really disappointing to me is the number of people i'm seeing complaining about these challenges because it's just too many games and it's too hard like again it comes down to the point like if, if it was just too easy if it was two games for Taliska or three wins or four wins people be like oh my god it's so easy everyone I play against now has a Taliska and when it's too hard everyone's or not too hard but a lot of games everyone's literally like oh my god this is just way too hard it's not worth my time if it's if it's not worth your time then it's not worth your time you know there, there's been some SBCs and some objectives that haven't been worth my time and I haven't done them um, there's been some that I've grinded for even though it was a stress like that Parolo card that was tough to get him. You know, I was doing that in Division 2 and Division 1. That was really tricky. Um, but it was worth it in the end because I knew what I was playing for. And these cards that we have here, uh, the Emre Chan card, I think, is a very good card. Regardless of anything, it's an 86-rated card that you know you're playing for. It's a usable card. You whack an anchor chem star on him, he becomes a 90-rated CDM or a 92-rated centre-back. So you could style him in at CDM and because of how good uh, defenders are these days, you could all you could potentially like swap him in and, and put somebody else in midfield from your back line. Uh, you know, you, you can get him up to a 91 CDM with Guardian or Sentinel or Backbone and, and he's a quality, quality card, you know. Uh, six foot tall, four star weak foot, high, high work rates. He's, he's brilliant. Um, in terms of the uh, Taliska card, I think Taliska is the best weekly objective we've had yet. Martinez was very, very good. The, um, you know, the MLS Martinez, he was very, very good. But this Taliska card, it's just brilliant for many reasons. You know, his shooting in general is, is very good. His passing in general is very good. His dribbling in general is very good. Uh, his, his physicals, he's got 82 stamina, but he's four star, four star, six foot three, high medium work rate. So if you play him in that cam role, the 82 stamina is not going to cause you too many issues. You might notice it very late in games especially if you're using high pressure in periods of those games you might notice it in extra time or injury you know late in injury time but generally speaking this is a this is a top top quality card for your time spent and so the the other thing about it is is i saw people complaining oh my god all the brasilvas now are just 10k a piece so you have to spend 100k on a squad to be able to compete you don't the specifically in online singles there's no seeding there's no matchmaking there's no form so it's it's just random chance of who you come up against and as long as you're a decent player you have the the better you are the more chance you have coming up against somebody worse than you obviously if you're a terrible player you're going to struggle whether it's Silvers, whether it's gold team whether there's no rating whether it's bronzes you're going to struggle because you're a bad player but the, this objective is so <laughs> like people are rushing through it so much that even if you're a bad player, eventually you're going to come up against players worse than you. And what seems to be happening is people are quitting after one goal or two goals, especially if they know they're outclassed because it is such a lengthy objective, you know, because it takes so long and you require so many games to get all of the cards. When people are getting outclassed completely, I've seen it on like streamers and stuff, like they'll go one nil up and people just be like, yeah, I'm out. Like I just, you know, this is a waste of my 20 minutes here. Let me just find somebody else that hopefully is more on my skill level that gives me the opportunity of winning. And so as long as you keep grinding, you'll get those cards. You know, there, there's no reason for you to just be upset. And I'm already seeing like, dudes, this objective was out for half an hour and I saw people messaging me, hey man, can you set up a Discord so that we can get people to match against each other to gift wins and stuff? No, work for these. Like EA won't do this. EA won't do this more 
if people just cheat their way to get it. You know, they, they used to have the one, and I was involved, not cheat specifically, but you know what I mean. I, I, I was part of the problem as well last year when for the St. Patrick's Day one, you had to score 10 goals with an Irish player, or whatever it was. And people would just go into an online singles, they'd let each other score 10 goals with the Irish player, and then that would be that, and it would be done. And that's not what it's about. It's not what it's there for. So I'm going to do this objective as properly as possible. I'm going to build my teams. I'm going to play my games. Yeah, I'm going to do two at once. I'm going to do Taliska and Ben Arthur at, at the same time. But I'm not going to expect people to quit or try and go in for um, you know people to quit on me or do do view games against my viewers to try and get easier wins because I want to work for these players so that we as a community can show EA, hey, we liked this, we enjoyed this, and we want to see more of this because I would love it if every single week there was one, two, or three players in weekly objectives. I wouldn't necessarily do them all all the time. There would be some that I'd look at, and and if you if if it was un, if you were unable to do Ben Arthur together with Taliska or Chan, I would prioritise Taliska first, then Emery Chan, then Hatton Ben Arthur. And if the EA released three players next week and one of them was just not a priority for me personally, I would do the same thing. I'd be like, look, let me get this one done, then let me get this one done, and then if there's time left, I'll work on this one because it's it, it's it's a cool concept, and I, I really like it, and and I hope. EA carry on giving us more players through weekly objectives and I hope people don't try and game the system um, and I know that's hypocritical coming from somebody who looks for every exploit in the game but I, I hope people could just learn to enjoy the squad building aspect of this and enjoy playing with different players oh I hate playing with silvers I, I don't want to have to play with silvers to get this then don't get this card if you've already got a top gold team and it doesn't fit in you don't have to get the card you know so uh, you know that's that's kind of uh, that's kind of where I'm at uh, with the weekly challenges. Then uh, City Posh Blue says, "Hi Nep, in your opinion, what do you think EA will have to do to make people happy with the new promos?" I've seen several people complaining still. I ask myself, are people not grateful of all this content for this year? For example, if this promo is expensive, they complain. If the promo is dead, they complain. I think people should be grateful on what we've had this year, and hopefully they can build on it and add upgrade and new promos in FIFA 20 and so on. We'd love to hear your opinion on this. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I've been very vocal with my dislikes for certain promos. All, all I would personally like from every promo is something to, that caters for everyone. And what we tend to have is something that caters for one group of people and not another group of people. And that for me is, a, is where I don't like it. For example, when we look at flashbacks, Flashback Ibrahimovic was insane value for coins, right? He was a, a, like a genuine end game player. He was about 200,000 coins or less. He offered two really, really good packs back, and he's super high rated. So if you ever used him in an SBC, you get you get to reduce the cost of that high rated card. Because of how good Ibrahimovic was and how cheap he was, what EA have done since then is overcompensated on every single flashback since, and they've all been extremely expensive for cards nowhere near as good. And it's kind of like, like I, I, I wish that there was a, a better mix. So... What I wish for this promo, and we're at the start of this promo, so this might come true in this promo, but this is what I, I would like to see. And the weekly objectives are kind of there with that as well. The weekly objectives has a player for you if you're really casual in Timothy Weyer. It's got the Ben Arthur card that's not very good, but you can get alongside either Chan or Taliska. And it's got Chan and Taliska that are great cards if you're a casual player that you can work towards throughout the course of the week where it's not in rivals and it's not in champs and they would be big upgrades to play it to, to cards in casual players teams so i rate that the the thing for me though is that the two sbcs we've had so far hulk and mendy they are only on the same level as these day uh, weekly objective cards they're not better than what most people have already and they're very expensive you know, 200,000, well, 170,000 coins for Mendy and 230,000 coins for Hulk. If you did both of those, that's 400,000 coins gone now. You know what you could do with 400,000 coins instead of those two SBCs? It's a world of choice out there. So what I would like to see throughout the rest of the promo is a couple of the SBC cards that are good for casuals, but much, much cheaper. And a couple of SBC cards that are good for... Uh, hardcore players but uh, expensive not super expensive but you know like that gareth bale sbc he was crazy expensive initially in my first thoughts at about 1.4 million but he's been a revelation to my team he fits my play style perfectly he's an insane player he's he's got everything good about him and so with gareth bale it's like look g give me a carnival carnival player 
that's like 93 or 94 rated that's 600,000 coins but I'm going to look at it and be like holy crap I need this in my team this is an upgrade that's kind of what I want to see so I hope what I want to see from promos is just a good mix of cards and objectives that caters to everybody rather than what they seem to do which is funnel everything towards one specific uh, set but anyway guys this is going to be the end of the video for now if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys I'm out peace